review for Samaritan with uh, Sylvester Stallone. And uh, this came out in 2022, Amazon Prime. So a young burn, a young boy learns that a supernatural or superhero who was thought to have died after an epic battle 25 years ago may in fact still be alive. Pretty much the synopsis. I was not really into this movie. Very generic. Um, Stallone has made literally dozens of movies that are better than this. Um not the worst movie ever not the worst superhero movie ever i mean heck, madam webb's way worse than this i i wouldn't i wouldn't put this on the level of madam webb even black adam i think i'd rather watch this because i like stallone um you know for how old he is i mean he could he could still move uh you know he's kept in shape um there's some parts of the movie I like. I kind of like his back and forth with the young kid. You, you know, uh, the kid doesn't have a, a, a father. Um, but that's another thing. It seems like in a lot of movies we have kids without fathers, single mother. Not that they get single mothers, but what, 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 where, why is there never a father in these movies? But. Anyways, that's a separate thing, but um, it's just something I'm watching a lot of recent, more recent superhero movies, and I don't know. I'm trying to think about if which which ones have a father in it. I mean, Ant Man, he's he's a he's a father, right? Um, and he he's an ex cod. He's trying to do right. Um, uh, but Ghostbusters, uh, the new Ghostbusters. Uh, there's no father because Paul Rudd's not really their father, and and in the second movie, I actually think that they should have married. But anyways, that that's a whole other tangent. But that is just something that kind of annoyed me. But um, anyways, Samaritan, I, I thought the movie was just generic. Um, you've seen it, you've seen it literally dozens and dozens of times. I mean, if this was made in like 1997, I'd be like, this is a good movie. But we've seen it so many times of the reluctant hero. He's retired or whatever, and a young kid comes under his wing, and then the kid gets in trouble, and then the kid gets in more trouble, and then he has to go out and rescue the kid. And, you know, there's a gang in town, and we've seen it so many times, but... It's gonna be spoilers. I mean, there's really not much to spoil. Um, you know, I wish Stallone would just do more interesting movies for to me. For me, I mean, like it'd be cool if like you know Quentin Tarantino or Christopher Nolan or um, he was what's the director that did the did the did, did, did the Dune movies? Um, you know, maybe if they put him in a role. Maybe not the lead, but like a pretty, you know, a good role. I think that'd be really cool. Um, maybe he could help produce the movies, you know, so he can, you know, help it get made a little bit. He'll be like, I'll produce it, but I want to be in the movie. And, they, and he's like, good, I have a good role for you. But anyways, I wish, wish he did something more interesting because this is not the worst movie ever made, but it's so generic. I've seen it a million times. You know where this is going. So he plays a character, um, Samaritan, and he had he had a twin brother, and they fought each other, and the evil brother died. But there's a twist. So now full spoilers. Ooh, twist. He's actually Nemesis. He's not the Samaritan, and maybe the Samaritan wasn't quite as good as everyone thought he was. And they have this fight on the in like a power plant. And it's gonna burn down, and Stallone's nemesis, and then his twin brother is Samaritan. This kind of gets confusing, but which I thought the twist wasn't even needed. But I, I guess I, I guess he's trying to say like uh, sometimes the heroes aren't exactly heroes, and maybe Nemesis was more of a hero, but maybe they both were good and they both were bad. And 
it's just kind of like, well, then what are we even doing here? Like, I don't know. It's just the movie's just unsatisfying. Um, so Samaritan dies, Nemesis dies, they think, goes away. This is years, years later, at least, uh, I don't know, many years later. And uh, Stallone's living next to this kid. They're in these apartments. It's the inner city. There's tons of crime. Um, he's a he. Is, uh, Stallone is a, a garbage man. And this kid's trying to figure out who Samaritan is. And then there's also this other character who's like a journalist, and he he writes books. And he wrote a book about Samaritan. Okay, 25 years ago, still may be alive. So, so the kid's trying to track down who Samaritan was. He's, you know, he's a wide-eyed little kid. The idea of Samaritan lights up his imagination. You know, it's understandable. Um, and then throughout a few events, he finds out that Stallone was Samaritan, even though he was nemesis. But what, whatever, he's Samaritan. Because we don't get much backstory on what Samaritan did. Like, like he said, he said he saved people. And Nemesis was evil. There's some snippets on a, on a, um, you know, newsreel. But we really don't know much about like why is he so great? Why is Nemesis so bad? But, and then he finds out who he is. Um, and then there's this other there's this other guy who's the villain who's played by. I've seen him before. Pilo. Oh man, I'm just gonna mispronounce his name. <laughs> Osbiak. Uh, he's Danish. So I think he was in the show Vikings. Oh, he was an Overlord. Yeah. Well, that's another thing. This movie's directed by the guy who did Overlord. Overlord's a way better movie than this. You know, I have problems with that movie too, but that there's a way better movie than this. At least it's a little unique. Right? So, um, and then that he's the villain and he's the gang leader and he has this plan to take out all the power, and then he wants like a revolution to occur, and then I guess in his twisted mind he'll become the leader of the gangs or whatever. But um, of this movie. So, so, so that that's the overarching plan in the movie. Uh, at one point, he breaks into the police evidence locker, and he steals Samaritan's hammer. He has this hammer, and it's semi magical, I guess, um, like Thor's hammer or something. And and he gets it, and then he gets his his helmet, but it's just a helmet. Um, and then he gets it, and then in the end, he steals the kid. You know, he beats up the kid's mom, he steals the kid. Stallone's gonna leave town. Because the kid figured out who Samaritan was, and then they figure out who he is. He's gonna leave town, but then he's like, oh, I can't, I have to go save him. I mean, this has been done so many times. Like... <laughs> I don't know, this movie feels very generic. Um, and then they have a final showdown. Some of the action's okay. Um, I kind of liked one fight scene where he uh, the, he sneaks up behind these guys who are beating up the kid, and he just throws them both against like these cars, because he has like super strength, and he's like, kind of bulletproof, too. Um, I kind of like that action scene. I kind of like the action scene a little bit at the end, but it's a lot of CGI, a lot of CGI fire. Um, he seems almost invincible, but he overheats. Like he's like a computer that overheats. Well, actually, not like a computer because he he has to uh, take sh a shower. 
and he eats a lot of ice cream to take his temperature down. So, and yeah, about it being generic, I mean, yeah, like, this movie, okay, it's kind of like Last Action Hero, because it has this kid, the, the, the kid, it's a single mom, he has hero worship for Jack Slater, for Arnold. Um, he kind of thinks he's real, everyone else doesn't. Definitely some, some last action hero there. Steel, I mean, like the hammer and his outfit, kind of similar. Although he actually has superpowers on like Steel, but still, it's, it's very similar. Uh, Hancock, uh, you know, Unbreakable. I think Bruce Willis, you know, I mean, he beat him to it. I mean, it's like, that's a much better movie. Un um, Unbreakable is, oh, I think all three of them are, even Glass, and I have, huge, I have problems with that movie, but Unbreakable, definitely better. Split, definitely better. Glass, definitely better. Last Action Hero, better. Steel, I don't know, that movie's pretty bad. Hancock's probably better, so. But... And then, of course, there's Universal Soldier, and, you know, this is like that kind of, he's uh, super strength, he could take a big beating, he's really tough, but he overheats. So as, in Universal Soldier, he has to take ice baths, and this, he, you know, takes cold showers and then eats a bunch of ice cream. So, I don't know, you know, this has all been done before many times. You know, he has to go, like, you know, jump in the lake or something to cool himself down. I mean, that's his that's his weakness. It's like the opposite of uh, Unbreakable. But, um... And, yeah, and the guy he's fighting is just, a, is just a guy. He's just a strong guy that's a gangster. And he gets the hammer. And it's like, he's kind of weak against the hammer. But I don't know, at no point did I think Stallone was going to lose. At no point did I think the kid was going to get killed. Like I said, this is paint by numbers. And that's pretty much the movie. Um, I just wish Stallone would do more interesting things. I mean, it, you know, if you're like a kid and you watch this, and you haven't seen many superhero movies, you, you, you may enjoy it. Um, but it's just been done so many times before. And, I don't know, I guess Stallone doesn't want to retire. Um, I mean, he's got to have enough money, right? But, you know, I, I mean, I get it. He wants to still be out there. I mean, I, I think he looks better than Arnold. So, um, like, I would li like, Arnold, I'm just kind of sick of, you know? Like, I like, I love the guy, but, like, his last movies, I haven't even watched. I mean, I actually watched this, so it's got to be so say something. And I didn't hate Last Blood either. Everyone, a lot of people hated that movie. I, I didn't hate it. But, um, I don't know. I was watching uh, Rambo Ralph for Life. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, his review of the movie. And he's saying that he heard that he's this movie was supposed to come out years ago. MGM actually made it. He thinks it was supposed to get a theatrical release. And it was supposed to be rated R. Apparently. That's what I think. I think this was going to be a more interesting movie. And uh, I don't know, maybe Amazon just bought it and they cut a bunch of stuff and they're like, we're not releasing this theatrically. Maybe that's what happened. I, I have no idea. I don't, I don't want to just blame Amazon because I, I don't know. Um, maybe, you know, I mean, maybe just the movie's just not that good. I mean, <laughs> so maybe they're like, it's kind of generic and we're going to release it uh, on Prime. But that's the rumor, is it wasn't going to be rated R, and it was going to be way more brutal, and Stallone was going to have to have, like, a shotgun. Because <laughs> I did think it was weird at the end, like, he's fighting all these guys with guns, but he doesn't even have a gun. And I get it, he can kind of take some shots, but, I mean, he's not invincible. But, so that's the rumor. Um, Sounds like a better movie to me. Like, R-rated, it's going to be brutal, but uh, I don't know, maybe a bunch of stuff got cut, so. But yeah, not much to say, it's a pretty generic movie, it's PG-13, it's an hour 42, it's not very long. Let's see who wrote this. 
Okay, well, the director is Julius Avery. Oh, he directed The Pope's Exorcist. Okay. Well, I think Overlord, which is 2018, and The Pope's Exorcist are all better, are both better movies. I haven't seen any of his other movies. Uh, the writer... wrote... Uh, Escape Room, Scarecrow Joe, I, I haven't seen these movies. Mm, Escape Room, six strangers find themselves in a maze of deadly mystery rooms and must use their wits to survive. Well, doesn't that sound familiar? What's that movie called? Cube? From like 99? That sounds like a total ripoff of that. But, okay, well, I haven't really seen anything the writer's done. Um, I don't know, one of the guys in the movie kind of looks like, what is his name, his name Takashi59 or whatever that guy's name is. I think they're totally trying to look like him. He's like this little guy and he pushes around the kid and he, and he kind of gets him into the gang life. Um... The actor Moises Aries. So, yeah, uh, generic movie. Um, I wish Stallone would do something more interesting. You know, maybe work with like um, an up and coming director from Blumhouse or something. I don't know, just something, you know, like do a horror movie maybe um you know it'd be cool if yeah one of one of the big directors was you know was like oh i got a role for you but uh anyways kind of generic movie it's not very long so that's that's a plus i guess but um oh yeah another negative i have of this movie is on on the poster right here it shows him walking and then a shadow of him is him in the armor the full decked out armor he he he's never in that like only only in the beginning but it's like a flashback but that was kind of lame like i get it the armor is destroyed but i don't know you could come up with a reason of he had a backup suit and then he goes and gets it and then he goes and fights all the guys i think that'd been a little better like at least put him in the in the suit the guy he's fighting is wearing the mask, but put him in the full suit, too. I don't know. It just seemed like kind of like that. I, I thought that was going to be the end of the movie, and it's not. It's another negative I have. The city's called Granite City. It's just like the mo most generic names you can come up for a city. Like, this is Granite City. Like, come on. So... You know, I think Rambo Last Blood's way better than this. I don't care if people say that that movie's better than this. Definitely. So, yeah, uh, that's about it, though. Uh, here, here's an image of Stallone. If you could smash that like button, that, that'd be great from a much better movie, R uh, Rambo 4. Um, but like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. Maybe you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. Let me know why. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyways, uh, that's about it. And uh, I'll see you next time.